Shalom and welcome to Practical Spirituality here in the old city of Jerusalem at Asia Torah overlooking the Temple Mount. We just got through saying a couple things and then I realized I gotta press record or you're gonna miss the whole class. Um, but the, the last thing we discussed was stop making happiness your goal and start making meaning your goal. Live the most meaningful life you can and stop worrying about happiness and you'll probably do a lot better. You'll be less of a yo-yo going up and down the happiness string. And another trick in staying off the happy, the yo-yo part of the string is keep your eyes above on Hashem, who's got the string wrapped around his finger. And he's, the, he's doing very little movements in, in his orchestration of your life. And, and it, will, it will steady you. It steadies you emotionally to have your eyes focused on, on God, who's orchestrating things with slight movements, which is all it takes, really, for God to run all of creation. Now, um, but we were on a totally different... Oh, yeah, is lying, is stop lying. That was the other subject we handled. Was stop. Oh. I feel like my mother-in-law's after me. So, stop lying. And, uh, and what I mean by stop lying is, is that you stop telling yourself things negatively about yourself, uh, especially, I understand if you're like, don't believe in God and you don't know, believe in Torah and all that and why you might think you're just a piece of garbage, but, but anyone who, even, <laughs> even anyone who remotely believes in God, you're like, I mean, any thoughts negative about yourself is basically spitting in his face. He, and the Torah tells you straight. Remember, if you believe in God, that means you're from God, so that's enough. But I mentioned also if you believe in Torah, because I'm using words specifically always when I'm speaking. When you believe in Torah, it says you're created in His image. So to say something negative about the image that you are of Him is to spit in God's face. Now, if that's just creating guilt then, because you habitually think negative about yourself, so that's also negative. So don't get guilty because guilty, guilt generally paralyzes a person and that's not going to get you anywhere. So just stop now and just start with being an amazing person that you are. Be truthful about how awesome you are. Stop telling yourself lies and, and then you get to start telling others. You start to share in your ways and in the things you do. You start to share and you actually become someone who's a a compliment to the world. You're someone who's a, a contribution by your very being. Because, hey, if you're coming with good energy based on the God and, and Torah perspective, you're a, you, just by existing, you're a bit of a compliment to the situation. And, and you're a pleasure to be around and people want to invite you places and people want to be your friend. And, and you're also kind of solid compared to most people, which is, makes you consistently nice to be close to. And it's just, it's only going to work well. It also cleans off your vibrational energy because lying to everybody as a cover-up to the lies you tell yourself about yourself, it has its own vibration. It is not a very clean one. And it's also very complex. It's quite complicated. Why? Because a little lie, you got to tell this many lies. I mean, you tell a little lie, you got to tell this much cover-up, but if you're lying more, you got more cover-ups to do. Now, if you're lying internally about your very state of being, now you're really covering up much more. So after a while, your vibrational energy that everyone has, your vibrational energy is just, it's polluted. And so, yeah, you have vibrational energy. Most people will then opt to look good. <laughs> well, at least my, my vibrational energy is crummy, but maybe I could be pretty. Or my vibrational energy is crummy, or maybe I can be strong or, or dress well, or, or, uh, or maybe be rich and have a nice car. But people who are actually clean internally and out, people who are, who are, who are living in truth about themselves and, and in both how they see themselves and also how they contribute externally. People who are clean like that, you'll find them like, they're wearing less cosmetics. They're focused less on appearance. They're, 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 they're just interested. Hey, you guys must know each other. They're, <laughs> 
there, there, <laughs> one sec. There, there must, there, there, they're less concerned about their, they're less concerned about their vehicle. They're more, they're, they're just, as long as it gets them from place to place safely and is more or less, you know, economical and, and not too big a drag on the environment, that's all they care about when it comes to transportation. Who's they? Um, people who are clean within are going to have less emphasis outside. Pure. Well, what we're speaking very specifically about, about um, that your self-talk is, is positive. The inner dialogue? About yourself. Yeah. Is positive, is clean. Okay, so the cleaner that is, the less you're going to be needing a fancy shirt. Hopefully, ideally. All right, so going back to what you said, you said, okay, so if someone has something, like a void to fill cue, right? And then they start buying nicer clothes or starting to put on makeup or like dress nice or this and that. You don't look like a bum, and I'm pretty sure like you're happy, but you take care of yourself. It doesn't mean you have a void to fill. Makes sense. Yeah, so, so they, they will be clean, except <laughs> meaning they shower and use soap and stuff, deodorant. <laughs> no, they, I, mean, they, they, I mean, I'm, I'm they wearing. Put together. I wear. Thing. Yeah, yeah, they look put they, together. They put together. together. Oh, we're not talking about put together. We were talking about. Extra. extra, like the hair, the extra nails, thick, the nails, everything. <laughs> okay, so we're on, so it turns out we're on the same page. What's your name, Bella? Bella. 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 Yeah, some cool people name. Like that also. That's the problem. Some people like what? People who like the the extra. Well, a lot of people that shallow maybe. I don't know if you. People like extra cosmetics. Yeah. Yes, they do. They do. Like makeup artists. Right, so they, they have to... They don't necessarily put it on because they feel bad about themselves. It's a job. You have to have makeup artists. Right, well, we can't discuss the artist, but we can discuss the the, the canvas. The... <laughs> the canvas. <laughs> yeah, it is interesting. I just heard for the first time yesterday that, that, that makeup is a unconscious... Uh, an unconscious... Um, appeal, like like just like pe male peacocks have these gorgeous feathers that they put up when it's when you know they're feeling excited. They um, that 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 it's a similar thing. It's a similar thing, and it's showing youth, and youth is showing fertility, and fertility is attracting males and. And it's a, it's a youthfulness that's an attraction that people are there. Women aren't even trying to do this, but there's something about about red cheeks is young, and young is fertile, and and they and the more youthful a, a woman, the more fertile she would be. That you know, totally unconscious. No one knows this is going on, and uh, and not to mention a certain flushness that takes place in the human body when when excited. So that this is all like going on unconsciously amongst females, it's not so useful. which is interesting. But I only heard this yesterday, the first time by a, a, you know, a social scientist who was uh, discussing this subject on YouTube, mm -hmm. the ultimate wow. information source. <laughs> it's okay. Not, it's not so youthful though when they have so much makeup that they just look like a clown. <laughs> Look like a clown, or make or or make you feel bad for them. I don't feel saying. bad for them. I'm like, wow, you I feel out of the house looking like that. You look like a freaking clown. I hope yeah, they, they look good. I know, but that's sad to me. I don't know. I mean, Mike. Well both... I forgot your name. <laughs> Mike. Mike. Or Mayor. Mayor. No, you. Mayor. Tell me. Yeah, yeah. Mayor. Same name as this guy, right? Okay. Um, we're gonna we're gonna end this video and start a new one. <laughs> No, that was a cool one.